Hello guys and welcome to the channel. This is the Citizen Aqualand Pro Master and it is one of the most iconic dive watches out there. The case is stainless steel, although given its finish you might be inclined to think it's titanium. It is a combination of analogic with mechanical hour, minutes and second hands and digital as the LCD window at 12 o'clock might suggest this is a quartz movement. History of the Citizen is quite an interesting one. The first version goes back to the early 80s. This particular model started production in the 90s when it was upgraded from its previous version. 200 meter water resist, unidirectional rotating bezel, luminescent hour markers. What makes this watch special though is the depth gauge at 9 o'clock. The sensor allows for multiple information to be stored. It shows diver depth, depth alarm function, maximum depth recording function, dive time alarm as well as dive time recording. Case back is laser etched. This is recent production. Prior to this, case back used to be heavily engraved with pretty much the same logo and writing. Now on the dial, we can appreciate the perfect symmetry as well as the attention to details. I'm generally not a fan of quartz watches and the reason is more often than not the tick in second hand is not aligning well with the markers in the chapter. That's not the case here. Basil is heavily ridged for best grip. Aesthetically, I think this is one of the strengths of this timepiece and specifically how the glistening quality of the bezel is contrasting nicely with the matte finish of the case. It turns only counterclockwise with 60 clicks. Basal action is firm and precise, almost no play. It is actually a bit stiff, not the smoothest basal turning experience you'll ever have. The band is something special on its own. It is very well made, very sturdy, but at the same time somewhat stiff and can create some discomfort after a while. True to be told, this was meant to be worn while diving and sturdiness prevails over comfort with reasons. Speaking of which, waves in the strap make for easy adjustment to any wetsuit and we can find also a non-decompression limits table printed on one side. Pushers are comfortable and reasonably sized. They're used to set digital time, to switch to day and day display, start the chronometer, lap time as well, to record dive data and to switch from dive mode to time mode and to set the alarm as well. Crown is located at 4 o'clock which fits in with the clever design choice. What I mean by that is the bulgy sensor at 9 o'clock is out of the way and will not mess with your wrist and so is the crown at 4 o'clock as opposed to having it positioned at 3 o'clock. Fortunately you don't get to operate that crown that often. Being quartz, chances are your watch is going to be pretty much accurate most of the time. I say fortunately because although it is heavily threaded for easy grip it is really hard to mess with very unpleasant to unscrew and screw back in and now for the inevitable wrist shot first things first some numbers lug to lug is 47 mils the bezel diameter is 38 mils width including the sensor is 50 mils across lug width is 24 mils i think it wears on the big side but not excessive i don't recommend wearing this under the cuff of a shirt as the rubber band will always get in your way more so than the actual case itself now for the great news i hear people complaining that 24 width is such an unusual size for a band but i was able to find these great inexpensive substitutes which I do recommend. In terms of color, this is what I've found so far. This beautiful cocoa brown, green, orange, and blue. They all fit nicely. Why? Well, the OEM strap is nice and all, but it is tremendously stiff and uncomfortable. What happens is, at least for me, after a couple of hours, I start feeling uneasiness on my wrist to the point that I just want to remove my watch. That's how uncomfortable this OEM strap is. On the other hand, those replacement straps mimic almost faithfully the original, 
but at the same time they are incredibly soft and supple and come in different colors as well which is i think is a great idea if you like to change the appearances of your aqualand a little bit i would like to show to you what i mean but just flexing both of them and give you an idea how they compare to each other in terms of softness i hope you get an idea but i guarantee you this is the softest rubber strap i've ever touched one of the things i really appreciate on this aqualand is the loom painting on our markers and hands it is really bright persistent and with a beautiful green color let me give you guys a loom shot all right guys i'm wrapping this one up catch you in the next one